Hey everybody, how's it going? All right, <clears throat> woohoo! <laughs> I finally finished my uh, February Mar Fe February monthly minis. So I know I had uh, promised that I would do a video on making these charms, um, but I I forgot. <laughs> to be honest, I totally forgot. And I did spend I spent a couple days actually uh, making them. I wanted to make them kind of special and uh, use up a bunch of new, a bunch of, bunch of older little pieces that I had put together and some bead charms that I had made, you know, back in the day. Um, anyway, so I made some, some lovely little dangly charms for these little guys. Um, and mostly what I wanted to show you guys was the, um, the little clasps that I used that I had seen people using uh, as stitch markers in crochet and I just thought that they would be perfect to use for you know attaching charms onto journals or I thought they would be perfect for using on tabs like um, a lot of times I like to put a little eyelet on a on a tab that I've put on a page you know and then attach a little charm onto that tab and I thought these would be perfect to use instead of a jump ring which is relatively permanent um, to use one of these little guys instead it's an it's an ear wire um, for you know pierced ears pierced earrings pierced ear earrings <laughs> anyway so they just they just open up like that and I'm sure lots of you guys probably uh, have already you know you know, are already using these, but I had never thought about it. So anyway, so I was like, whoa, those are cool. Anyway, so I found them on Amazon in, uh, uh, this is the bronze color. And then I also got some copper ones and they had like, I think I saw rose gold and silver and then just a regular gold. So I usually go for the more like antique color ones. So anyway, so that's what I used. Um, it was a, I bought a, I bought, well, I bought four packs of them and I think they were like $6.99 or something like that. There's 80 of these in the pack. And then you also get um, a little, kind of um, a little jump ring so that you can attach your charm onto it and they're actually kind of nice little uh, little jump rings they're a relatively heavy gauge so they're pretty sturdy little jump rings anyway so I just wanted to show those to you guys those little those little uh, ear wires that are great to use for journals anyway so I finished all the minis mini pocketbooks um and thank you thank you guys for you know following along and i hope that some of you actually made some of these because um i think that the design was actually pretty cool and uh relatively simple straightforward once i worked out all the kinks you know anyway so there are 18 of these uh that i just listed on etsy the listing is active right now um i did not do a listing for each one. Um, I just, honestly, I just thought if you want to like, if you want one, just send me a message when you purchase one and kind of tell me what your preference is as far as like the color or like, you know, like if, it, and I will do my best to accommodate that. Okay. If you don't care, then don't bother sending any preference at all. But, um, I just think it's kind of fun to do that and then um then it's sort of a little surprise when you get your journal too but um if you have your heart set on a specific uh cover paper then just tell me that in the when you make the purchase and if it's still available um then i will do my utmost best to accommodate that okay so i hope that that works for you guys 
Um, I don't have any blue <laughs> for some reason. There's there's no blue. And this is uh, actually kind of like a kind of like a maroon color. It's not purple. Um, I tried to use a lot of different papers on the covers. I didn't repeat too many times the same paper. This one is kind of a like a dusty pink. Um, I think this is the only one that I actually repeated a couple times. So anyway, so should we look at a couple of these? Um, I made the little journals that, that are, that go inside of them. And oh my gosh, I got to show you guys this paper that I found. I have to show you this paper real quick. <clears throat> Hold the phone. It's so cool. I was like so excited when I found it. Um, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Isn't that the greatest? Look at this paper. It's so cool. It's this like, you know, penmanship paper, but probably for like older kids because it's like, you know, smaller. But look at that. Isn't that awesome? And it's like, it's like newsprint paper and it's just cool it's like kind of aged around the edges and stuff no idea how old this is but I scored I scored I was so excited when I found this um and then I actually was out out and about in the world the other day and happened to stop at this thrift store that is set up for veterans um it's the vet veterans Spokane Veterans something or other thrift store. And um, also, I found a whole ream of onion skin paper. Dun, 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 dun. See, I knew. <laughs> I knew that some more would come into my life. And there are a couple people that actually heard my pleas on video and um, agreed to do some swapping with me. So those those two people that that sent me onion skin paper with the promise that I would send you a pack of goodies, please don't feel like I've forgotten about you. I have not forgotten about you. Um, I just had all this other stuff in my world going on and I want it I when I put together bundles like that for people I like to kind of devote some mental energy to it. So just know that I haven't forgotten you. Okay. And I'm sorry that it's taken me forever. Okay. So let's look at a couple of these. Um, yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. These turned out so cool. I think I want to make some of these larger because I also, I'm just rambling on now, but um, at that I went to an auction house that is actually shut down as an auction house because of the pandemic. And now it's basically just like a consignment store. And, um, but they do like estates and stuff. Anyway, I bought two more filing cabinets and, uh, one of them was filled with the old green, uh, hanging file folders. <laughs> so, um, okay. So I have a bunch of those and I'd like to use some of those to make some like this, but, but a little bigger, you know, somehow. Anyway, so each of these just has a piece of um, sorry silk as a, it just wraps around a couple times, added a little knot, um, nice, generous, you know, length of that. Of course, the charm. Um, so that'll just kind of set off to the side when you're using the book. Um, there's a little pocket page here with a magnet and I just went through and I didn't put stuff in every single pocket. Um, <clears throat> but I, you know, I just kind of randomly dispersed things throughout the journal. What I do is I make piles of all the stuff that's going to go into the journal. So I made 22 piles. And then, um, I, so then I just take the journal, the empty journal and the pile, and then I just tuck it all in. 
anyway <clears throat> so then this turned out i love how these i just love how these turned out um so they've all got an assortment of the of course i said i was going to use a bunch of the tim holtz like ephemera pieces and stuff because i just went crazy one day at joann's and i bought a whole bunch of it um anyway so i just added i pulled from like three or four different collections and added some from each one and then there's some printed ephemera that I have cut out little, you know, just little bits, little pieces that you can use to journal on or whatever. I didn't do um, any additional embellishing on these. Like, like I didn't add any, like I thought I would come back and, you know, do a little collaging and stuff on some of the pages and whatnot, but I just you know, they were taking so long to begin with that I just thought, no, I'm just going to, I'm just going to tuck stuff into the pockets and you guys can do that yourselves. Anyway, so I did make a little journal insert. So you do, you get a little mini with it. Um, I just took a piece of that French, that beautiful French ledger and attached it onto a piece of beautiful um, scrapbook paper and then just did some stitching around the, the edges um, anyway so you've got some ledger from a different uh, old French ledger I love this one because I love the blue um, some book pages some avocado dyed paper uh, some of my favorite uh, architectural whatever that book is called, I can't remember, some penmanship paper, some grid paper, some of the new onion skin paper, um, piece of that really cool, oh my god, that paper is so cool, and you guys, I got a bunch of this, so I was thinking about making up some bundles with some of my favorite papers, like, and just, you know, like do like 10 sheets of each one of my favorite papers and maybe selling those to a select few. Like maybe I put together like 20 of them or something and include some of these papers that I use all the time in case you're making a journal and you'd like to have some for yourself. So that was, I wanted to mention that also. So if that's something that you would be interested in, um, send me, an email I'll put my email in the description uh, send me your your uh, send me your interest let me know if you're interested and I will make a list and um, and I'll try to put that together okay <clears throat> um, and then this is the other removable insert so this is the little pocket page so this could actually you know just be a separate little thing that you can use for odds and ends um, I did put a tuna dex card in each one and then I added a, um, pulled out a whole bunch of that bank ephemera. I honestly, I have this huge bundle of it that I forgot about. So I was like, oh, that would be cool to just include some of that in these little journals. Um, so I pulled out a, a typed letter and then also a handwritten letter from from that bank ephemera that i that i acquired like seems like two years ago now um so some of this stuff is are things that um are digitals that i've you know th things that i've scanned some of it is the tim holtz stuff so it's just all kind of mixed in and you know what's funny is a lot of the things that are in some of his ephemera packs are things that I already have as scans from the original. So it looks like Tim Holtz stuff, but a lot of it is actually mine. <laughs> anyway, and then this little envelope that is removable, um, I just tucked in like a whole bunch of stuff into each one of those. So when you get this and if you want to just make sure you look inside there and, and that nothing has gotten stuck because there might be some little tiny pieces that kind of get tucked down towards the bottom of this envelope. So just to, just to, just to know that what you have, make sure and check down in the bottom. 
Um, so that little stringed envelope, I just tucked it in this pocket. And then it goes back into its elastic here. Um, this is another little pocket page. There isn't anything in this pocket, but it's a little stringed closure on there. And then another gusseted pocket at the back. Um, this is the hand. Each one, like I said, has a handwritten letter. These are letters that were written to the bank. Um, it was this bank in Lind, Washington. Uh, most of these are from like 1911 to about 1913 or so. Anyway, so th I, those are just fun to have to use for collaging or for whatever. And then these two little pocket pages that flip. Um, there's a little tag in this one and then some other ephemera in this in this other one. This one is has a magnet, so it holds both of them down. Okay. So that is that one. Um, and, you know, you could totally just go crazy um, adding stuff onto these. Like, they're semi-naked, you know. Um, so there's that one. Let's look at another one just for fun. Yeah, see, I just, see, like, this is one of mine that I printed out, and because I have the original encyclopedia, <clears throat> but then, th then the Tim Holtz collection has the same, that same thing. Anyway, it's kind of like, ha ha. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. So there's some pages, in case you haven't watched the, the Craft With Me videos as I was making these. Um, uh, I did do a little bit of collaging on some of these, on some of these surfaces, but not every single one. Cause I wanted to use a lot of these scrapbook papers that I just bought and, and I love them. So see how the, the gusseted pocket really opens up nicely and you can, you know, you can really pack a lot of stuff in there. Um, and there is another pocket right here too. So but yeah, so these are made out of um, some kind of oversized, like, um, document envelopes or whatever. There's the little insert, the other little, the other little insert. And this, you know, there's a pocket at the back of, of this, too. And then, and then one here on the front. Um, and then another gusseted pocket on the back as well as another pocket right here so okay so those are like i said in my shop right now ready to go and they are free shipping in the u.s um outside the u.s I'm not sure how much they are, but how much the shipping is to, to various countries. But I know that the shipping weight is right around eight ounces. So um, it shouldn't be more than like 10 or $12, something like that to say Canada, which is usually the most expensive um, <laughs> as far as shipping goes. Um, but yeah, so each of these journal, the charms, you know, it just has lots and lots of goodies on them. Um, charms and bead charms that I've made and all kinds of like vintage buttons and little bells and things like that. So, but there's still plenty of room if you have stuff that you wanted to add on to those. <clears throat> so, okay. So there you go. And like I said, let me know if you're interested in like a, um, in a, what would I call it? Jessica's favorite papers bundle or something. Um, and I'll see how much interest there is. And if there's enough interest, then um, I will, I will put those together. Okay. Cause I did get a lot of that paper and um, I will share some onion skin paper and, um, and that kind of stuff. So, and some of the different like grid papers and things that I have. 
So anyway, if you have any questions, um, send me an email or leave it in the comments. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Um, I will leave a link in the description of this video to the listing where you can purchase one of these if you want one. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Love you. Bye for now.